the purpose of this film is to share my experience working with Shepard Robson, an award-winning architectural film and one of the most established practices in the UK. I spent 10 days filming the creative process during an architectural competition. The design of a 600,000 net square foot of a scheme in Leeds, UK. This film will show the whole design process, tools, meetings, conversations, decisions, everything it takes to convert an idea into a final concept design. My name is Lucas Arellano, I'm an architect and this is how we work. In the design review process, the lead partner explains the project brief and presents to the design review team the initial design proposal. Then, a brainstorm session is opened where the design review team suggests new ideas and approaches to improve the design. So we did it, it was for to offer scheme. Basically, he's now decided to go to a competition. I've been told it's just right now. And where we are, we've got a week, 10 days to do this. I think this is about really the public realm and the aesthetic, the building, what, what do these things look like, how can we make them, you know, what's the architecture of them. And it's very confidential this site because they own the triangular shape site now they've bought that or they're in agreement. The other site they are in negotiation. This is the site here. We will ask to look at two offices on this site um, and then afterwards we will ask to look at residential and hotel on this bottom portion of the site here. We'll probably show the options of the hotel and the resi but we'll concentrate on the visuals for um, an office scheme. Because the one is the residential doesn't stack up, the hotel doesn't stack up, the hotel residential doesn't stack up, the office is the one that stacks up, but the city have said they want some mixed use on this scheme. <laughs> A public realm in the middle of the site, uh, closing off the road that comes around here, making that all public access. Vehicles come up here, go into the back of the site here and go into a basement car parking. It means we can slightly reconfigure some of the ground floor elements and that. The principle was around the back, into a basement access, all around basement access, and then maybe like cycle access off the main square down into the basement, showers, the whole kit and caboodle for um, well-being. An office entrance off the public space to the corner into what is Central core, same over here, office central, same with retail units around, and then as I said, we can slightly reconfigure this. This is the cycle super highway thing. So it's quite a dense site, and you can imagine that the question about the public realm is how usable, how much sunlight, daylight we're going to get into that public realm. Lucas, after the meeting, this oh, can we have an image? Now you can see. It. So, Lucas, we just pulled together this. It could look like this type of thing. As a matter of fact, we went back and forth with a few images. When was this? This was Christmas, January. It's difficult. It's, it's not going to be an easy site to develop out. How much? Oh, it must be. Ours is 500,000 square foot net, more. You know, there must be at least 300,000 on theirs. Wow. So, you know, 800,000 square foot of net space. Yeah. Can we look at potential ideas about carbon zero, carbon neutral, low energy efficiency? Also, I think it's got to be, I mean, if we're going to dangle sort of net zero, then we, I think we should move away from the sort of glassy, you know, effectively a kind of modular. It's yeah. all about form and it, it's not about glassy, it's, it's got this profiling and shaping and, and articulation. You, you also mentioned it. Sketch out. <laughs> I'm open to all sketches everywhere. Yeah. Richness about it, it's not a big glass box. It's, uh, you know, it could be a terracotta, it could be a metal. I think you're right, Ted. The top, we make it bigger again. And maybe there's just some, there's a, there's a like flush. There's some big, big recess. Like a restaurant yeah. or something. But then at the, the top, you have a terrace. Now, whether it's behind glass, like on top of whatever. Yeah. I think what we, what we do is, I think, 
Lucas is getting the model a bit and then have a look at a few views and see where we can see it and what we can see from it. Ground level, mm -hmm. Photoshop-y. It, it's quite a, like a cool, loose, loose type of image or mm -hmm. two and that would, I think that would really help get a feel for the scheme. After the design review, Tony wants to have a chat to set the final approach. In the meantime, I took the opportunity to review Shepard Robson's past office projects, looking for references based on the design review discussion. The red triangles that we've got make it tight radiuses around here, flatten the back off. So we make it feel like that sort of flat but organic shape. So that you end up with this type of radius. I want to keep this very rectilinear. So on elevation, you've got you know, a series of yeah. okay. same aesthetic. It's just that it's integrated in here on the side. Okay. Three meter unitized module over three stories. And then they've got glass, and then they've got some thinner ones, mm -hmm. and then they've got some bigger ones. But in its section, it's like, it's got a top and a bottom to it, and then yeah. the next one comes along and it's, you're almost pretending the glass doesn't exist. It's just the vertical solid elements mm -hmm. and the vertical thin element. So it looks like you're doing the same thing the there, there, but there's nothing there. You're getting the depth from, and the same down here. So in, ele in elevational terms, you've got two or three stories, same as that, two or three stories. It just depends on the work portion for these. Okay. So these if it yeah, works yeah, with yeah. three, then we'll make it three. If it works with two, oh, then okay, we'll make it two. If, yeah, it, yeah. if it needs four, we'll have to look at it because otherwise it really is driven by what the proportions on the floor plan, if that's three meters, then 750, maybe 250, so roughly 50%. Okay. You know, forty percent is solid. Mm -hmm. It's the same principle of this facade we'd apply to this, mm -hmm. but we might be a bit more, a bit more rational. Five hundred, one meter, five hundred, one meter, and let it wrap all the way around. Once we've got that thing, the body of this working, we can just stretch it and add it and bring it down. And what I think might work better than the idea that there's this rectilinear box and this sort of organic form. I think it might be better if that rectilinear box yeah. goes all the way to the ground and this more organic, you know, shaped form yeah. goes within it. Ah, okay. And that. becomes the ground floor and the first floor rather than... Yeah, to be in the top of the other. Yeah. It's not 20, 30 storeys high. It's um, 16, 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15, and it's quite yeah. a big floor plate of, a, you know, it's 15 yeah, it's square foot. It might feel a bit like... I feel like the building on this site in this corner should hit the ground. So I would say for now, at the minute, it's yep. modeling almost the upper, everything above that one, level three. Yeah. You know, some of these sketches are really, yeah, I think, mm -hmm. really good to keep. Yeah, anyway, I will stand up there. Um, Could you do me a favor also yeah. send me a link to the presentation? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, okay. Well, just a link to where the file is because I want to see. I want to print the presentation and think about rather than getting to the end of next week and yeah. saying what have we got. It's better to see what we're going to exactly. format it so we know yeah, yeah, exactly. what we should present. Okay. Once the design principles are clear, I drew a model the main body of block two.
I needed to finish some bits on a previous project, so I only had time to make a couple of quick sketches testing different percentages of solid versus glass. At the end of the day, Tony presented some new ideas for the first three floors of the layout, providing me some sketches, including the design of the bullet rear. And if you push the glass back though, at the lower two levels, so what it'll look like is like a sort of mini colonnade. So you'll get like a deeper shadow on this one. Mm -hmm. And it's drawn on the plan. Where that's, yeah, that's probably where the hits is. Mm -hmm. Plan. Behind, and when it comes out from the glass, and here you just get the frame over those two stories, you won't even get the glass. Yeah. It just gives that sort of feel of it being the same but different to all the rest of it, you okay. know, so it's all of that consistency and everything for the facade. Mm -hmm. This bottom bit will have the same panel rhythm, but okay. they'll have no panels on. This, this is just a big double height void. Do they use the same principle for the other buildings? I think, I think so, because the only difference with this building though is everything is coming out. I think once we've got the shapes, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. the form, we can then just sit and sketch. And because of the geometry is different, because of these geometries are different, so everything is different. It's, it's really difficult for yeah. me to sketch it right. No, it's okay. So basically, I didn't have time to model this mm -hmm. properly. So at the moment, I created this. Using Tony sketches, I modeled the general volume of the first three levels. Is that right at the face of the glass? It's 200. Yeah. How big is that? Four meters? Yeah, yeah I keep the same. I think these two buildings are close in the model. Okay, Very close. Like we need to make sure that they... We need to move it again. Get the plan scanned in. Yeah, I have it with the cut on the top. So the one that I sketched? Yeah. Have you put that yeah. in? Yeah. And is this set in that position? Close. Yeah. Okay. The one I can show you.
But it's better you get that sorted out and then we'll have a chat about this. So okay. it's more important. I'm trying to show that the colonnade or the main elements come down so you get a bigger shadow. So in these areas, you almost bring in some of those panels down. Okay. Same here. Because you just put the panel down like that. Yeah. But some of them will give them some depth. Mm -hmm. And then the glazing will be back here, you'll get some shadow. But that will the first. Yeah. And second, the glass is back. I think more than trying to make it perfect, you might be better just yeah, look at it and we have a quick tweaking. Same principle, come in, yeah. tension, perception. This is a void going down, so the staircase, if you're in the fight. But then you come in, there's a secure barrier here, up the escalators, and all that ground floor is the rework I think the escalators will bring you up. Oh, there's a reception desk here, you can come in that way, come in that way, and then into the main floor, and then you're up the building, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Retail as well as that. Yeah, this is retail yeah. in a coffee shop, plant at the back, and then when you get to the, the rooftop floor, well, it's four floor plates all around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the exception of what is around there, and what is around, arguably around here, everything else will just make glazed walls. Yeah, the miniature yeah, yeah, you see straight through. And then when we come to oh. look at it, we can work out whether there's too much glass, or if you do a patterning or anything, okay, yeah, yeah. do like a really Thanks, fun. Like a three meter modulus, you know, whatever, doesn't mean one meter, one and a half oh, meter yeah. module, so yeah, yeah, you can yeah. just see that. Mm -hmm. This guy's really interested in the imagery. That's all I want to show that it broadly works. Mm -hmm. You might not get the opportunity in the meeting is take one, two, or three views, do a little QR code thing. You can always take it to the meeting, get them to scan in off the screen on the phone, and they can just move it around. Well, it's the VR thing that they can, you don't need a headset, but they can just all get the phones out. Snap the QR code, yeah, and, we've got and every every image we create, we could do one of those for. And they can pan around it. Yeah, yeah. the electric system. Yeah. Yeah. Sure you don't, don't pan around that side. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a friendly thing. I would have been that that three. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> what it sounds like to me, if this guy, I just love it. Yeah. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you. I usually produce the visuals and animation for the competitions. But due to our tight deadline, Tony decided to externalize two of the main visuals, one aerial view and another from the highway. For that, Neil produced some markups to send to the visualizers. Office one and colour office one, taller building, black painted glazed spandrel panels, mid light to warm grey to all of the all spandrel, glazed terracotta to all vertical solid panels plus bay frame. And this one, glazed terracotta to these solid panels, green too. Black painted glass panels to these, glazed terracotta to these solid panels and bay frames in green one. I think we may move. Nothing to me with me.
while today is, is uh, Wednesday night, it's been a, a long day, and today we have spent the day modeling the ground floor in base of the principle, like Tony said yesterday. Today we have been coordinating with the visualizer to send all the pro information necessary. Um, Sally joined the team and is working in the internal layout of the ground floor. Tomorrow we are going to develop the ground floor. And from that we can review with Tony and me and we can decide what's the, the best step to take. Well, it's 15 to, to 10. We have uh, three days for, to finish this competition, this visual. My computer is frozen in the middle of the rendering. I didn't save in the last two hours, so I'm not sure if the, um, all this progress uh, has been saved. I'm going to leave the computer working during the night. And let's see if tomorrow we can recover the information. If not, I will have to ask the IT people to help me with this. Let's see tomorrow if we can get uh, everything done. Well, it's Friday night, this morning I couldn't recover the, the file, the IT people was busy, so I decided to reboot the computer and start again, so these kind of things happen. And today we have spent the day modeling the ground floor. This weekend, the only, the only task that really we need to do is um, develop the the landscape and uh, produce the final image but we are working with escape so in the time we have everything modeled it's going to be a straight uh, process to try to coordinate all the information uh, that is coming from the landscape architect uh, visualize and everything probably we are extending the deadline until Monday night always there are many things to improve so I'm happy with the result, I'm happy with the, with the week, and we have put a lot of effort. Um, yeah, it's good, I'm happy.
well, it's Saturday night. He, we have left uh, two days to the to the deadline. I think it's not normal to come here to work on Saturday, but I prefer to finish everything properly. Um, I don't want to be in a rush um, on Monday, so I decided to to come here. I spent the day uh, modeling the ground floor and the public uh, realm, setting everything on the context because we are not sure exactly if we are going to receive the landscape uh, information on time. So prefer to, to model a proposal, even if it's our design, and after if we have time, I can swap my proposal to the landscape ar architect. This is the, the result. A quick um, volume I have designed. I made this quick image to share with the rest of the team and let's see what are they thought. Next task probably is going to be develop the context, add some people, put trees, put some plants. If I had time and we decided to go for a night shot, I will I will have to put some lights on it. Uh, let's see because probably Tony doesn't agree with this idea, but. I think it can be a nice shot. We are in a good position to hit the deadline with uh, good quality information. Happy. Let's see how it's going the next uh, two days. Um, let's see.